Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and as you can see behind me here, the 15 gallon is gone. It's finally gone. Adnan took it. He took all the whole tank, the whole set of everything. So this is actually a brand new 15 gallon aquarium. We're gonna get a whole new light, a whole new rock structure, everything, go through the whole thing. All right, so it is gone. We are gonna be setting it up today. I got a rock tree kit here like I used last time. Um, this is just a little tree kit built by Life Rock. Um, I believe it's Carib C, yeah, Carib C. So we're gonna fidget around with it, put it in here. Okay, I grabbed the wrong box. This is actually the nano tree kit that we're gonna be using. And then I also grabbed another arch like we did before. I'm not gonna build the exact same rock structure, but it's gonna be fairly similar maybe, or I don't know what we're gonna do. Davis? Oh, hey. what the? You're not Davis. Yeah, I'm Davis's replacement since he's not at work today, so. All right, well, this is Jarrett. Uh, he's going to help us out with this tank instead of Davis today. Um, Davis, but yeah, too. yeah, Davis will be here in a later video. But um, yeah, we're going to open up this box. Uh, this has a bunch of nano shapes and arches. Uh, it's got a little base piece and then a stick that goes down the middle. Um, but yeah, I'll get to you when we're done building the rock. All right, Jared, what do we need? We need rocks. We got rocks. Rock. We need a heater. We need a light. We need a mounting arm for the light. We need auto top off and we need a lid. All right, let's go get it. First things first, go with the AI Prime. Yes, sir. Is this black or white? Uh, white. Perfect, we're going white. Okay, next things we need, the heater. heater. Now auto top off. All right, you're gonna keep that one? Yep, this one's for me. Let's okay. go. Okay, we need a lid now, oh, which is right there. Oh, lid. Lid. Lid, 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 Okay, we're gonna go through all those products in a second. First things first, we need to grab the sand. First, you're gonna put sand in the tank, then you're gonna put rock, then water, and then all your equipment. So, uh, sand options, we got a lot, let's go see. Okay, and by a lot, I meant two. So, uh, we can either go Fiji pink or we can go reef sand. For smaller tanks, I recommend going Fiji pink just because it's a finer grade sand, it looks a little nicer. Reef sand's super thick, so I put that in the big tank so that when the current flows through it, it doesn't get kicked up and make a bunch of fog. So we're gonna go Fiji pink. I already have this box uh, with sand in it, so we're gonna use whatever this is. I actually don't even know if this is Fiji Pink, but I was told to use this, so we're using this. Okay, first things first, we're gonna add the sand, and then we're gonna mess around with this rock here. Um, when you build your rock structure, you wanna make sure um, you have enough space to put your hand all the way around so you can clean it. You wanna make sure you like it, because if you don't like it, you're gonna hate your tank. Um, then you wanna make sure there's room for, or there's good spots for coral, so up high, down low, some shaded areas, and some good hiding spots for your fish. So. We're gonna mess around with this rock and I'll get back to you when we're done. All right, here's what we came up with. Uh, got some nice arches, some good spots for coral up top, down low, maybe make a little zoa or a mushroom garden in the sand here, or like, or this area here. Um, here it is all the way around. I like it. You like it? Two thumbs up. Cool. Now we gotta add some salt water. Right, we got it plugged in yeah we didn't end up using the rock or the stick that comes with the tree we just used two of the mini arches and then the big arch on the bottom okay so when you're setting up your first tank your tank's gonna be super cloudy like this it's actually probably gonna be a lot worse than this because we pre-cleaned the sand um but yeah so your tank's gonna be super dirty that's normal just let it sit wait about 24 hours um it should be clean by the next morning um theoretically if not just wait a little longer it'll clear up uh, and then after that, um, you're gonna go through a two-week cycle, roughly. 
Um, we're gonna be adding Microbacter 7, uh, which is a beneficial bacteria into the tank. Now we're gonna add all of this stuff here. So we're using the Hydra, or not the Hydra, the Prime. Um, this is the best, smallest light you can buy, best bang for your buck. So uh, it's around 250 bucks, um, but it's really, really good quality. Um, We've made some really good displays with this. Um, I'll show you the old 15 gallon, or if you haven't seen it, I'll link the video in the description. You can watch that video. Um, you can see this tank. Um, and then you're gonna need the arm for that as well. Then we got this Jolly heater. Um, this is just to keep your temperature accurate. Uh, and then this is your ATO. This is uh, probably one of the most important pieces unless you wanna manually top it off by hand. Um, what this does is it basically has a sensor that sits in the back of your tank at the right water level. And then when the water level goes too low, it'll pump, it'll tell the pump to pump more water from this bucket will hop down here into the tank. And when you want, uh, you want to keep fresh water down there because you, uh, the salt in the water doesn't evaporate, the fresh water does. So you want to top it off with fresh water. And you want to keep your salinity at around 1.026 is what I have, we have this tank here. Then last but not least, we have the lid. Um, we are, won't need the lid today uh, because we're not adding fish yet. Uh, but this will come in handy later. It'll keep your fish from jumping. That's pretty much it. All right, we got the light on the tank here. Um, Jed put a schedule on here, so I'll take a picture and put the picture of the schedule on here. Um, yeah, so this is what we're working with. Uh, now we gotta put the ATO on and the heater, so let's get to that. All right, it's actually been a couple days um, since you've last seen me. We got really busy that night and I haven't worked in a couple days, so I'm back now. We're gonna put on the ATO and the heater, so let's get to that. Side note, the tank has cleared up so much and it looks amazing. I love this rock structure. All right, we'll just slide the heater in this chamber here. You wanna make sure it's this chamber, not this one, because this one, the water level actually will change. This one won't. So if you have it in here, it'll start heating the air, not the water. This one, it'll stay in the water the whole time. So you wanna make sure it's in this chamber. Okay, now for the ATO, this is what it comes with. Okay, so we have a jug down below filled with fresh water. You're gonna stick the pump in the bucket, get it down to the bottom. All right, so you're gonna take the sensor, you're gonna pop it on where you want the water level. I accidentally filled it up with too, too much, so we don't want the water level that high. We'll put it like right here. So basically how this works is when that's wet, obviously it won't pour water. When it doesn't have water on it anymore, um, it, theoretically you should pour water out here. Yep, so it'll fill it up to that level, but I already filled it up too much, so we definitely don't want this thing filling it up. Okay, here I have uh, Microbacter XLM. We're gonna add one cap of this a day for around like two weeks, basically till the bottle's empty um, and get the tank cycled. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Sorry I didn't have my camera for this video. I'm using my phone. Um, my camera is currently being repaired right now. I think it's working now, but anyway, consider hitting that subscribe button down below because it is free for you and it does help me out a lot. It helps me continue making these videos for you and hit that like button as well. And yeah, till next time, peace.